Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, I'm a boss, I'm Alita, and today we'll be talking about healthy hair and hair growth. So, I hope you're interested in learning more about my hair journey and some of the struggles and triumphs that I've experienced trying to grow my hair to a certain length. I also hope that you enjoy the products that I'm gonna be talking about today. They are some amazing products. I have purchased them with my own money. None of these products were sponsored, but I definitely think that they're gonna help me get to my healthy hair journey and my healthy scalp journey. And last but not least, I hope that you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What you thought I was about to say? I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been under a rock for five years and I'm digging myself back up so that I can educate you guys and take you on this journey that I'm about to go on. A lot of things are about to change in my life and I'm definitely excited about being able to rejoin YouTube, be a face for the community, and educate my boss babes, fly girls, and bad bitches on these products and how to grow your hair, okay? So stay tuned, don't leave. Make sure you like and subscribe before we, we dive in and Enjoy the video. all about healthy hair and my experience with trying to grow my natural hair. I am a 4C girl. I have been natural now for about, I'm gonna put it on the screen because I'm not really sure, but I do have, I collected all the photos in my, in a certain album called Healthy Hair Journey. And this has been a struggle y'all. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have experienced the highs and lows of being natural, of being a 4C, of being a woman with kinky hair. The industry wants us to be a certain way. We may have a certain image that we see in our heads that we want to fulfill. So, you know, that's, that's kind of where it all kind of starts from childhood. We see what we see on TV and you may or may not have grown up with representation of yourself on television. I'm from the South, so I thankfully grew up a lot around a lot of women who wore their natural hair, who made me feel confident and comfortable about my hair texture. I can't say that I was bullied about my hair because Early on, I learned how to manipulate my hairstyles to make myself comfortable and confident. So confidence was always key. I remember as a, as a, I mean, as early as eight or nine, like crying about the hairstyle not being what I had in my head of a vision of what it should look like. So that's when I started manipulating and let me fix this let me let me tweak this so i can get my hairstyle the way i want it to look so as i said earlier i'm 4c my mom and my mom is of a lighter complexion she has softer hair i wouldn't say it was curly or the best hair but she had manageable hair my sister who is older than me seven years older than me head full of beautiful curly just perfect hair perfect poofs perfect big ponytails things of that nature so my mom's experience with my sister's hair and her experience with my hair we had different dads totally different so she took totally different steps with managing our hair so i can remember as early as three years old my mom put the dreaded jerry curl in my hair a three-year-old with jerry curl i'll find some pictures and insert them but 
I was the cutest. She loved it. She just thought it was just the cutest thing ever. But I feel like that is where a lot of things with my hair texture changed and going from a jerry curl, whatever process that was, having a relaxer. Um, my mom never really let me put color in my hair, so I didn't put color in my hair, but I just did not have manageable hair. I thought I had the worst hair ever. Um, by the time I made it to college, this was 2010, 2011, a lot of girls were doing a big chop then. We we're trying to discover our curl pattern, cut it all off, let's see if my hair is going to curl. Let me see what it's going to do. I loved my hair, but I did not have the juicy, cute 3C, super cute curls. That was not me. That was not my my blessing, okay? That was not my ministry. I dealt with what I had. And for a long time, I utilized things such as wigs, weaves, and, you know, things of that nature to cover up my hair or make me feel more confident and make me fit in. I was on the dance line, so I had to have certain hairstyles in order to be able to perform. So things like that have shaped black women in our perception of our hair. So, I mean, as I sit here with in, in filming this video with a unit on, check out my previous video is talking all about why I have this unit on. And I'll get into details after I talk about the products. But that's just a backstory, a small snippet of why I'm on a healthy hair journey. So now at 33, I have finally figured out my hair. I finally have been able to manage my hair. And uh, over the last two years, I have been on a journey of getting my hair past a certain length where I would plateau. I would always get stuck at neck length. And in the recent, in the last two years, I've been able to get past collarbone. So I'm like, okay, because prior to two years ago, I said I was gonna cut it off. I was done. I was gonna get me a little pixie, something, because I could not understand why my hair wasn't growing. So I figured out the recipe last year and I I was using a round of products that now I see was actually working. And I can say that because I utilized those products for about six months and I documented my hair throughout that process. So rewind or fast forward, I guess, so now I stopped using those products and deviated to other products and I saw a decline in my hair. So I know that those products that I was using before were working. So now that I have documentation and see like what's working, what's not, I want to catch it before it's too late. And the first place that I saw my hair decline was my scalp. So we all know that a healthy scalp equals a healthy hair. So my scalp was, has been so dry, so just flaky. I never struggled with dandruff. I never had that issue. But over the last three months, y'all, my dandruff, my dandruff has been snowflake city. Call me Snow White. Give me an apple and call me Snow White because I've had enough dandruff to, I've had enough dandruff to feel the Arctic, okay? And I don't like that. I am a stickler about my hair, my skin, like the things that I can control, I'm going to control it. So I said all that to say, I had to sit back, look at the photos, understand what was going on and get down to the bottom. Let's, let's, let's dial it back. Let's go back and, and figure this out. So, my first thing that I did and I realized that I stopped doing was taking a multivitamin. I do not have the best nutrition. I don't eat the best. I'm, a, I'm slim by genetics. 
and I've taken advantage of that. I literally eat whatever I want and I don't really gain too much weight. I've teetered between 130 and 145 my entire life. So I pretty much eat whatever. I, I don't care for vegetables. In my adulthood, I've been pushing myself to try more and more vegetables. So my vegetable intake is growing, but I know that that is really truly the root of why my hair has been so dry my entire life because I was not getting the nutrients that I needed to feed my hair. I remember a time maybe four years ago being told that I was vitamin D deficient. I didn't understand the importance of vitamin D in the health of my hair. So through research, through trial and error, I'm learning how important these different factors are for the health of my hair if I really want to have healthy hair. I don't wanna be a girl that's relying on wigs and units. I wanna be able to wear my hair. I love my hair. I've, I wear my hair all the time. In this transition of trying to get my scalp back healthy, I'm wearing this unit because I'm trying to protect my hair and be able to take this on and off and and oil my scalp and moisturize my scalp daily. That's why I'm in the unit. But I realized when I moved into my new home in June, I slowly stopped taking my vitamins. So immediately I ordered vitamins. The first vitamins that I ordered were the Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins. My hairstylist said she knew someone that was taking these vitamins and they were getting great results. So I wanted to try them out. Now this is literally the style before my scalp went AWOL, okay? So I already had the vitamins on the way. I had them, when I took my next style down, y'all, I had, my scalp was in shambles. So I was freaking out. So as you can see, I am pretty much done. I have two, one more day of vitamins. You take two vitamins a day. I did more research and although I saw mixed reviews on these vitamins, I did not think that they were going to be able to get my scalp back to the health that I needed it to be in. So from there, I did more research and I picked up or ordered another product that I have been seeing all over the internet while I was doing research on the Sugar Bear hair. And this is Nutrafol. So this is a, a hair wellness from within. That's what I need. I need to meet and fulfill the nutrients that my body is missing so that my hair can be its healthiest, okay? So these vitamins are jam-packed with pretty much all the vitamins, all the nutrients, all the all, all, everything that your body needs and would typically get through your food intake is in these vitamins. So, like I told you previously, I say six months ago, no, not even six months ago, almost a year ago, last March, March through May, I was taking a different supplement called Ritual. And that is when my hair was at its, it was shiny. It was, it was, at its best moment. So I wasn't, I still wasn't seeing the length yet, but I could tell the health of my hair. It was super black. It was super shiny. Why did I stop taking my vitamins? Why? Why? So now Ritual is half the price of what I paid for Nutrafol, but I'm going above and beyond to get my scalp back to where I need it to be. I do have some photos that I'm going to put in this to show you what my scalp is looking like as of last month. And I'll put the dates and what my hair was looking like last year. So as you can see, I have not started these vitamins yet. I just got them in on yesterday. A lot of these products I got in literally last week outside of the Sugar Bear hair ones. I've had them a month, but I just got these products in y'all. I've been in shambles trying to figure out how I can get my hair back healthy. So um, I'm gonna take a moment and drop some uh, details about the ingredients of these pro of these particular vitamins. You're gonna take four capsules a day with the meal. And 
all of the reviews I saw stated that it helps with thickening your hair. I have some problem areas in my temples that they like to thin out. I don't really do lace fronts anymore, the glue down lace fronts, so that's not the issue. My true issue is diet, and I feel like these vitamins are going to help me regain the health from within. Okay, so next, my next pickup, because I'm suffering and having issues with my scalp, and it wasn't even a pickup. This was a product that I already had at home, but I was doing research on um, the scalp, getting your scalp back healthy, and I stumbled across a YouTuber. I don't know her name, but I am gonna drop her video in the description, because she laid something on me that made so much sense that I decided to try it out, because I was no longer using this product for what it was typically meant for. So a lot of you that may be into skincare may know about BHAs and AHAs. An exfoliant to help you with skin impurities, helping you turn over cells to exfoliate dead skin from your face, typically to shed away to a beautiful skin. My girl used the ordinary on her scalp to do the same. Genius. She's a genius. I'm shouting you out, Blend Coco, because you are a genius. I have utilized this once today. I used it today, so that made it two times, but I can definitely see that my dandruff and my scalp is not as dry. And the flakes are coming up a lot easier. So I have been utilizing the ordinary glyconic acid 7% toner which is typically used for your skin on my scalp so the pH is a 3.6 and like I said it's a 7% so I am being very cautious about using this on my scalp but if it benefits my face it should be able to benefit my scalp and serve as a chemical exfoliant so that I'm not being as harsh my scalp is not as itchy I'm not scratching and getting those sores in my scalp from overly scratching because my scalp is so itchy from the flakes. So thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad I stumbled across your video. I am definitely going to drop your video down below. You guys check her out. It's worth a try if you suffer from dandruff. So my next pickup would be these shampoos. So... Like I said, I was utilizing these shampoos last year between May, no, March. M March into me moving here because I still had some left over. And for whatever reason, I stopped utilizing these shampoos as much as I was. And I know for a fact they work. They are awesome, okay? You may have seen them floating around YouTube, but it is the Purador hair shampoo system so they have a variety of styles um, for different reasons whatever your hair concerns may be they literally have a shampoo for it so in my journey of trying to repair my scalp i went for the hair thinning therapy and after ordering this i realized that they had a scalp therapy one so but pretty much the ingredients are the same and they serve the same purpose. So these products, one I love because they are sulfate free, paraben free. They're, I mean, the list of all of the negative things that could alter your hair growth. They're hyperallergenic, color safe. I mean, these ingredients include caffeine, catalyst, cayenne, pumpkin seed oil, metal foam oil, apple stem seal, apple stem cells. Um, these all work together to strengthen, nourish, and help reduce hair thinning. So because my scalp wasn't healthy, my hair was thinning in my temples. So thankfully I caught on to what was going on before it started to work through the shafts of my hair and to my ends. My stylist said that my hair is still growing nicely but my scalp was very dry so i picked those up 
I am an advocate of those products. I've utilized the apple cider vinegar uh, version of those products. I've utilized the professional uh, version of those products and I've utilized the gold bottle. So I have used those shampoos um, for months and they worked great. So I don't know why I stopped. So now I'm going back to those shampoos um, for a while to see how my hair does over the next six months so my goal it being june is june 1st all these products i'm pretty much starting back june 1st i washed my hair uh may 25th and i braided it down in efforts of keeping those braids in my hair until i get uh feed in braids for my training that i'm going to start in june the 27th so I'm going to keep these braids, this braid down in my hair for a month while I continue to nurture and baby my scalp. So the last product that I picked up in efforts to get my scalp health back to A1 is this product here. This is the Baskin Lather Scalp Stimulator. This is a hair growth oil that stimulates the scalp. Uh, it was originally made by a mother for her daughter who was suffering from wingworm on the scalp and she had lost her hair. So I will be honest y'all, I thought that I had a wingworm on my scalp because I just could not understand why my scalp would go so crazy out of nowhere. So um, I didn't go to a dermatologist officially, um, but I did continue to monitor my hair my scalp over a few days and i don't think that it's wingworm i'm going to keep looking and making sure i keep you guys posted on that but this oil uh is a cold press oil and it from what i've seen works wonders and has changed a lot of people's lives helps speed up the hair growth so i feel like all of these products combined are going to help me reach armpit length and then bra strap length. So I'm taking y'all on this journey with me, okay? Because women, we, black women, we have to take care of our hair, okay? It's fun throwing on a wig. It's fun getting braids. All of that is fun. If you can't control the health and the aspects of your hair and you can have them grow, that's your crown. God bless us with our beautiful hair that can do all type of earth defined things gravity defined things take care of your hair it's women who prayed and wish that their hair would grow back because they're suffering with things like alopecia are going through adversity such as cancer and they can't grow their hair so nurture what you have don't allow social media to make you feel like I have to have this long, silky straight hair and you jeopardize and you put your health and your hair follicles at risk trying to achieve hairstyles. Take the time out, nurture your hair, get your hair healthy. And I mean, they're creating units, synthetic units that you can throw on and achieve the same look and still be able to take care of your hair. I'm taking this unit off every night and I'm nurturing my hair. I'm oiling my scalp, I'm massaging my scalp, I'm monitoring the things that are working, the things that are not. I'm spraying aloe vera water and water on my scalp every day because the true way to moisturize your hair is through water. Not slapping oils on your hair, not slapping pink oil moisturizer and blue magic. You have to do the research on your hair understand your hair and how it is growing and i promise you um you can get your hair to grow so if my hair grows this long <laughs> i'm not gonna stop it but i'm not gonna hinder it by putting styles in my hair that are causing me to go bald i'm not going to cause myself to go bald okay so it's 2022 Check out these products. The description where you can locate these products will, or the details for where you can find these products will be in the description box below. I hope that they can benefit you. I'm gonna take you on this journey with me. 
give you guys 30 day updates of where my hair is growing and where I am in my hair growth journey and buckle up I'm excited I have so much more in store like I told you if you caught it I'm going to training in June June 27th so that's going to be a new adventure for me and my hair will not be my focus so wigs and braids will be my go-to and that's perfect it works out perfect so i can nurture my hair while i go on this new adventure and i hope that these products can help you and you share your stories with me and we can get to uh, some nice luscious hair together ladies so i want to thank all my boss babes my fly girls and my bad bitches for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it make sure before you click off to like comment and subscribe okay like comment and subscribe so that i can continue to make content for you so that i can continue to spread light joy and love over this beautiful place we call earth you ladies take care until next time